Happy Monday. Welcome back after a not so nice weekend. It was kind of up and down. I hope you guys had a good weekend and a little break. Your parents have all um, your work for the week. We're gonna have a Zoom on Wednesday. We do have butterflies today, boys and girls, and we're super excited sh about that. I hope you can see them, let's say, through here. Do you see? We have butterflies. And we just saw one, there's one fly. This, yeah, there's one in this back corner here, and there's one right there that's moving. Let's see. Can you guys see them? Yeah. We're super excited about it. Okay, so we'll be talking about those this week. Then yeah, we're going to do this book. And we're going to read about this book. First, we're going to pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Want to get in here and pray? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Name of the Father. Do it, Declan. Name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to start off today by reading a story um, called The Three Little Pigs. Declan picked it and it's for the, it's the key sound is the I-G-H sound. I know that's not our sound for this week, but I thought that if he wants to read it, we might as well read it together. Okay, are we ready? All right, do you want to sit, on, sit right here, Declan, so you can see it? Okay, here we go. Multitasking here. It says, three little pigs left home one day, packed their bags, and went on their way. Let me make sure you guys can see this, too. Um, I'll show you guys the pictures. Mother pig said, goodbye, bye, bye, while a wolf saw them go, thinking, my, my, my. Little Pig One spied a man selling straw. Try dry grass, said the sign at the store. The boughs were light and he stacked them high while the wolf licked his lips thinking, my, my, my. I spy with my little eye sausage, bacon, and pork pie. Right, row. Right. Little Pig Two met a man selling wood. Right, he said, this will look quite good. The pile of wood was as high as the sky while the wolf licked his lips thinking, my, my, my. I spy with my little eye, sausages, bacon, and pork pie. Little Pig Three met a man selling bricks. They were mighty strong, much better than sticks. He built his house in the blink of an eye while the wolf licked his lips thinking, my, my, my. I spied with my little eye sausage, bacon, and pork pie. My, my, my. The homes were built that very same night, and in went the pigs to their delight. Sorry, I'm watching the butterflies go crazy. Um, quite soon, the big bad wolf came by, licking his lips, saying, my, my, my. I spy with my little eye sausage, bacon, and pork pie. Pie. Where? Where, Mom? Good guys. Cried the wolf to Piggy Straw. Now let me in, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf huffed and puffed, and the house went wham. And the wolf licked his lips, shouting, Hmm, fried ham? I spy with my little eyes sausage, bacon, and pork pie. This is just like a shell of it. Is it? Yeah. Piggy Straw ran in fright to the house of Piggy Wood. Right behind was the wolf, who was up to no good. Then he huffed and he puffed, and the house went smash, and the wolf licked his lips, shouting, hmm, galosh. I spy with my little eye, sausage, bacon, and pork pie. The pigs took flight in the house, made of brick. They were chased by the wolf, who was not quite as quick. There he huffed and he puffed, by the, but the house stayed whole. So the wolf climbed the roof, shouting, hmm, ca ca uh, casserole. I spy with my little eye, sausage, bacon, and pork pie. The pigs heard the wolf climb higher and higher. Quick, get a pot and light the fire. 
The wolf jumped right down the chimney tower, landed in the pot and cried, ooh, sweet and sour. I spy with my little eye. What, Declan? Sausages, bacon, and pork. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the wolf jumped up and ran outside. He cried out loud, my poor backside. As the wolf ran away at the speed of light, the three little pigs sang with delight. I spy with my little eye a big bad wolf saying bye, bye, bye. The end. Boys and girls, did that big bad wolf ever, oh, sorry. Did the big bad wolf ever end up getting the pig, Declan? No. No, they did not in that story. That was a good one. Okay, first graders, now, Declan, you can go off if you want. Thank you for hanging with us for that story. Uh, we're gonna learn silent letters this week. It's kind of exciting. So the WR and the KN and the GN. So the W, boys and girls, is silent. Like in the word um, wrong. Like the wrong way or um, the, um, I can't even think. So WR would be like wrong, okay? And then you have K. We talked about this in school. The word knowledge, the word knife, the word to know something. The K is silent. And then we have the GN, which is a little bit more tricky because you don't see it as often, but it's the word nat, G-N-A-T. Um, and then we have G-N-U. Hold on, excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. So we have G-N-A-T is not, G-N-U is new. And then you have the word no, like to know something. Then you have the word knife, the word bin, the word right, wrong, cause, and dawn. So G-N-A-T, G-N-U, K-N-O-W, K-N-I-F-E is knife. We have the word bin, B-E-E-N, the word right, W-R-I-T-E, the word wrong, W-R-O-N-G, the word cause, C-A-U-S-E, and the word dawn, D-A-W-N. Remember when you write your spelling words, boys and girls, they're always uh, lowercase, right, in this um, example. Then we have our sight words, and our words are Children, the word child is in there, it means one, more than one. So you have children, question, their, like they own something, right? Month and year. So this week we're gonna be talking a lot about those silent letters, okay? We also have your vocabulary, which your parents have, the list. It's the word country, it's the word gathers, like you all gather together. The word creative, to use your brain to make up things. Um, Bridget means really cold. Scorching is like, it's so unbelievably hot. What time it is? I'm teaching. What time? Oh, okay, mommy's teaching. Okay, and the word cycle. So the word cycle is something that goes all the way around, okay? And then the word predict, the dog's barking. The word predict means you're gonna guess, okay? So those are your vocabulary words for the week. Um, we have the practice book pages to do today. Okay, you have two practice book pages. And um, you're also gonna read the story. Let me see what story, I believe it's iced. Let me see, it's on page 200 and 62, and it's called Wrapped in Ice. So you guys are also reading that today. Um, boys and girls, there are a lot of concepts of the week that we'll go over every single day on YouTube, but special pronouns. So you learned that a pronoun takes the place of a noun, like he, she, it, they, we. The special pronouns are somebody, anybody, nobody. So there's that those words right there are called special pronouns, so they are pronouns. We're gonna review the commas and the dates. You guys know that the two numbers always get separated. So if it's the date is, let's see what the date is today. April 27th, 
comma 2020. You're separating the two different numbers in the date, right? Writing a friendly letter last week you learned after you welcome everybody like dear Mr. Robinson, comma. And then you write your body and then you write fondly or your friend or from or love, depending on who it's from, comma, and then your name. So that's a review this week, okay? Cause and effect, something happens because of something. Something happens because of something. In the classroom, I slammed my, my um, book down on somebody's desk. <gasps> And that person jumped back. I think it was Drew. So cause and effect. I cause the person to flinch and jump back when I slam something. Today, most of you played inside because it was raining. The rain caused us to be inside, right? We learned what a plot is. What happens in the story first, next, and last. That's a plot. Compound words, boys and girls, are two words in one. Like snow, man, hot, dog. Basketball, baseball, meatball, right? All those things, dog house, they are called compound words. Realistic fiction is a story that did not happen, but it actually could have happened. So the stories you're reading this week are realistic fiction. Absolutely, they could happen, but they're not real stories. They're made up stories, but it could have happened. Um, let me see, the theme of the story is the main idea, right? And then the simile is something new. It's when you're comparing two different things, boys and girls, and you use the word like or as. Like, um, um, let me see, uh, 